After my O-levels, I took a diploma in Hospitality and Tourism Management. During my internship, while studying at Tomasic Polytechnic, I first came to contact with coffee when I was working at an artisan dessert cafe. My love for coffee grew. Passion for coffee drove me to become a barista. After my national service, I worked part-time at Habitat Coffee while studying for my degree. After my O-level, I joined Kaplan to study my diploma in banking and finance. After completing my diploma, my passion for this industry goes further. I am highly motivated to join the banking and finance industry because among the top three financial centers in the world, Singapore is the largest corporate banking center in Asia with over 1,200 financial institutions providing a wide array of financial services, including banking insurance, investment banking, and treasury services. This industry is highly competitive. Without a minimum academic bachelor's degree qualification, it is challenging to get a job. I decided to embark my degree to have a better future and career prospect. In preparation to have my cafe, I decided to pursue a double major degree in finance and management. With an academic background in finance, I could interpret and make use of financial planning data to forecast how much funding required to start my business. I also acquired the knowledge of financial principles on how to manage my business and business revenue and money. Choosing management as the other major is a natural choice. Management equips me with the essential business skills and knowledge to set up my cafe. It preps me to handle tasks on the business side of the venture, such as creating a business plan, negotiating, and managing people. It provides me the skill set to analyze data, improve financial decisions, and provide excellent customer service. I chose Murdoch University because I can gain an internationally recognizable qualification, and many of my friends recommend me this degree. It is a reputable university and ranks in the world's top 100 universities under 50 years old by Times Higher Education. The degree from Murdoch University is well recognized by many banks. I have enrolled in banking and finance double major because it allows me to pursue my interests in more depth and learn the skill sets and knowledge. One of my most significant achievements was being top 32 in Coffee Fest Latte Art World Championship Open Tokyo and Osaka 2017. The competition to Tokyo was sponsored by Kaplan Singapore. It was very challenging to study and work at the same time. Murdoch University offers students the flexibility to study and plan their schedule. I can choose the number of modules to study for each trimester according to my work schedule. I believe the degree will benefit me in pursuing a higher position like a personal banker, which I always aspire to be. I will recommend my friends to Murdoch University. Not only it can help in their career advancement, but it is also a great investment in their future. My name is Tom Meacham. I've been working in the financial services industry for 20 years now. At the moment, I'm working for Maybank in the Foreign Exchange Department. And prior to that, I was working for European banks, also in, in FX. Currently, I am the Chairman of the Industry Advisory Board at Kaplan for Finance, Banking and Accounting. Singapore's financial industry contributes 12% to the gross domestic product and employs 6% of Singapore's workforce. Singapore hosts more than 1,200 financial institutions including banks, insurance companies and fund managers, with many choosing to base their regional headquarters here. Singapore is now the largest foreign exchange centre in Asia Pacific and the third largest globally after London and New York, with over half a trillion dollars traded daily. A premier wealth management hub offering investors access to a wide range of investment opportunities and the leading insurance marketplace in Asia, offering a full range of services to meet the needs of individuals and businesses. The finance sector in Singapore presents a wide range of career opportunities, all with a common theme of requiring graduates to have analytical skills, innovative thinking and interpersonal skills. Career paths in the financial industry include corporate banking, wealth management, asset management, insurance, compliance and risk management. 
As a corporate banking analyst, you would play a key role in assessing and monitoring companies' credit risks. You will help to structure tailored credit facilities to meet clients' financing needs for business expansions. You need to possess an analytical mind and enjoy meeting people. As a relationship manager, you acquire and service high net worth clients. You assess your clients' investment objectives and risk profiles and develop solutions to help your clients preserve or accumulate wealth. Besides being a strong communicator, you will do well with an innovative mind. As an investment specialist, you play a key role in managing the investments and portfolios of individuals and or institutions. You may spend the day meeting with researchers and analysts and keeping up on industry trends and company news. Having a strong analytical mind will help you synthesize information to gather new insights necessary for making important investment decisions. As an insurance specialist, you analyze risks in insurance proposals, determine the policy terms and calculate premiums based on the profile of each client. You should enjoy working with statistics and large amounts of data. Being an actuary, you would use financial and statistical techniques to solve business problems such as assessing the probability of a future event and the costs involved should the event occur. Statistics should be a subject you're good at and you're also a good problem solver. Compliance is a growth area in the post-financial crisis world with an increasing amount of cross-border regulations and more focus on corporate citizenship. You're in the profession of ensuring that the company's activities are carried out in a sound and sustainable way, consistent with applicable rules and regulations. You have to keep abreast with regulatory developments and assess how this affects the running of the company's business and operations. In this role, there would be many opportunities to work with people at all levels, including senior management. As a risk management professional, you play a pivotal role in identifying, analyzing, and monitoring the different types of risks associated with the company's operations. So if you find yourself almost subconsciously always analyzing and continually asking why, then this role will interest you. You can be a risk officer in any of these areas. Credit risk, market risk, operational risk, asset liability management, or risk analytics.